G'day guys, welcome back to Computex 2019 and here today I'm at the Thermal Take booth with a brand new concept design that they have come up with, a full distro plate for the Core P3. So this is actually a chassis and a full water cooling loop in itself. Now the pump is built in, it is a DDC pump. Um, Thermal Take's actually after viewers' opinions on you know, different concepts and how far they should take this. Should they, you know, extend the sides and add the front glass panel? Uh, should they, you know, add a back section and route all of the cables around? Now, one thing that I noticed about this design so far is the lack of cable management options. So, one thing I would like them to do is perhaps at the front here, have like a, a cutout section so that the 24 pin can route around and to the back. Now they were telling me that the whole concept, they wanted the back to be open so that they could view all of the liquid cooling behind it. However, I think that when someone has a case like this on their desk, the back's not going to be showing. So maybe they should utilize that and have some sort of cable management options at the back and instead of having all of that behind the motherboard. Now, one thing I did notice about this motherboard as well is that the standoffs are actually off of this section and they're trying to shove cables behind there. One thing that I am worried about is any sharp bits that are behind the motherboard sort of might pierce the cable open. Um, so I think the best idea would be to stick with standard standoffs for the motherboard and have all of the cables being able to route to the back similar to what a normal Core P3 would do. And that way it would clean the front up a lot more and you'd still be able to see all of the liquid cooling around it. Uh, if they wanted to show more liquid cooling, they could even extend the edges a bit more to show some more of the liquid cooling as well. One other thing I did notice with this concept is the fact that they don't have a port for the graphics card. So if you were to have a graphics card in there, I would like to see two ports come out so you can run the tubes nice and parallel to each other so that they could be routed straight into this distro plate. Uh, I think that would make for like a cleaner design as well. It may mean that they may need to extend this a tiny bit more, but for people that don't want to use that for the graphics card, you could just put a nice stop fitting in there and you wouldn't have to worry about it. So that's another option there. The radiator, there is no holes at the back of the radiator for the air to come out. However, they have put a bit of a bracket there so that there is about a two centimeter gap between the actual plate and the radiator for all of the air to dissipate as well. One other thing that I'll have thought of while looking at this is cable management is the big thing right now. So I'm trying to think of different cable management things on the spot. So I think if they create some sort of power supply shroud, which covers the section where the cables are actually plugged into the power supply itself, that would make for a cleaner look as well. And you'd still be able to see all of the liquid cooling around the outside. That's uh, just my take on this concept at the moment. As I said, it is only a concept and they're open to suggestions. So we'd like to hear your feedback, guys, down in the comments. Here's a quick look at the back of the actual plate as well. So, you know, you can see that it is nice and clean. Um, maybe just some a few cable management options. And if they had just the back plate on there, then that would hide the cables as well. What do you guys think? I do like that they've also reinforced the feet there to keep this standing up. Uh, leave your comments down below. I'm your host, Corey. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.